Karibu kujifunza hii website development. Tunaendelea na project yetu. Hii ni project ya website. Tumetumia language ya Python na framework ya Django kutengeneza driven web application yenye dynamic contents lakini inaendeshwa na database. Katika episode hii tutajaribu kuweka uh, uh, description kidogo upande wa kushoto huku kuonyesha maana hizi status. Hizi status zina maana gani? Tutaweka huku upande wa kushoto lakini pia tutaweka simple analytics tutaonyesha pie chart hapa tutaweka pie chart kuonyesha trend ya application inayofanyika. So kwenye episode iliyotangulia tuliishia kutengeneza hii uh, table. Tulisema hii table kazi yake kubwa ni kuonyesha taarifa za user ambao wamefanya application. So user atarudia kufanya application hapa. Atajaza hii form, akishajaza hii form atabonyeza send. So hapa kuna error kwa sababu kuna taarifa hajajaza, ameacha empty ajaza chochote. So kisha kwa amejaza kila kitu hapa atabonyeza send. Ata upload na certificate zake na hapa atapload passport size atabonyeza send. Akibonyeza send admin atakuwa na uwezo wa kupokea application kupitia registration model. So admin ana uwezo wa kureject au ku approve hizo registration. So admin kisha kwa ame approve bas atakuja hapa ata approve atabonyeza ata save changes then user anapokuwa na login huko atakuja kuona hizo uh, hizo changes ambazo zimefanywa. So user atajikagua hapa ataona kwamba amekuwa approved lakini tuliona namna kutumia hii data table open source framework ambapo user anaweza kujitafuta yeye mwenyewe kwa kuandika uh, kwa kuandika index number yake. So kwa mfano index number hiyo so utaona ina filter mpaka inampata yule ambaye ni ni mwenyewe ambaye ni huyu ambaye ni huyu specific. So user kiingia anaweza kafilter kujitafuta. So hapa user amekuwa approved so user kisha kwa approved yupo kwenye position ya kubonyeza kwenye account aka login kisha kaanza ku download admission letter so user kisha kwa approved ndio ana uwezo ku download admission letter lakini user kisha kwa rejected hawezi aka download application letter kwa mfano kama wawili ikiona maana kwamba kama hawezi ku download application letter hana uwezo wa ku login katika uh, system of course hayo yote tuliyafanya kwenye episode hii iliyotangulia kisha tuliona namna ambavyo uh, unaweza kufanya management Admin ana uwezo wa kufuta application kabisa tuliona hilo akija kubonyeza hapa delete na futa kabisa application ya mtu. Lakini kuna user mmoja tulimtengeneza kuja kwenye table ya users, huyu user anaitwa demo2. Demo2 yeye akiingia privilege zake zile privilege azimruhusu kabisa kufuta application ambayo imefanywa na mtu ku harusiwi. So hiyo hayo tuliona katika episode hiyo tangulia. For example hapa niki just log out, nikija ku log in kama a uh, uh, demo2, demo2 demo yes of course huyu hapa so demo tu akiingia yeye unaona akibonyeza ile registration akimbonyeza huyu user hawezi akafuta so hii kazi yake ni ku approve au ku reject ata click save changes bas ndio kazi yake huyo ni nani huyo ni staff so ana log out anaingia admin tena admin huyu ni just a super user so ni huyu hapa so akiingia admin akija ku access hii uh, registration panel aki access ata access hizi application so aki click anaweza ku delete wakati user mara kwanza kuwa na uwezo wa ku delete ambaye anaitwa nani demo 3. So unakija katika users demo uh, demo 2 ambaye ni huyu huyu hapa. Unakija katika permissions, unaona permission zake anaweza ka change, anaweza ka view. Hizo ni permissions ambazo anazo. Okay now so leo tuone namna sasa ya ku add hiyo of course ni debug. Yes hapa ya ku add panel ya kushoto. So nitakuja katika hii inapatikana katika of course uliishia hapa. Inapatikana hapa kwenye hizi tabu za pembeni hapa. Hapa Okay now. So ndachokifanya kwanza kwenye hii hapa title inaitwa all applicants. Nitaweka title ambayo mimi naitaka, nitatoa hiyo all applicants. Hii. Nitaandika kitu kifuatacho hapa. Nita paste hivi. Nimeandika nini? Nimeandika every applicant has the same chance of being selected. Eh, yani kila applicant ana probability ya kuwa selected. Kila applicant. Yani yeye anataka ifanya application of course ni save changes hii message ita, itatokea hapa sio dynamic. Hii sio dynamic. Ni message itoa kawaida. Of course ni yake text white ili iweze kuonekana vizuri. So uh, background in secondary then nakuja ku add uh, attribute nyingine inaitwa text then ina yake text just the white. So ngeka text white ngeja ni ki refresh ngeja ku save changes. Kila applicant ana iko chance ya kuwa selected. Tulisema kwamba kuwa rejected, kuwa approved au kuwa pending kutatokana na probability tutaweka kidogo machine learning kwenye application yetu kwenye tutorials zinazofuata. Lakini kwa sasa tumefanya kuwa manual. Manual kwa maana kwamba admin yeye ndio atakuwa anakuja huko na approve. Just an approve. 
ana approve na reject na nini lakini baadaye kitendo cha kuapprove na kureject kitafanywa na hiyo model ambayo tutaitumia ya machine learning inaitwa decision tree model so decision tree ndio tutakofanya kazi ya kukagua sasa uh, hizi applications zote tutaangalia patterns ya data hizi na nini tutaangalia certificate kisha decision tree tutakuja kufanya decision kwenye hizi data okay so baada ya kufanya kitu kama hicho basi nakuja ku copy uh, hii div class ya juu hii hapa div hii naoja ku duplicate hapa hapa chini okay now baada ya ku duplicate hapo naoja kubadilisha baadhi ya vitu hapa hii inakuwa so simple analytics hii inakuwa inaelezea status na maana gani kwa naandika status baada ya kuandika status hapo nakuja of course uh, h1 naifuta na acha paragraph h1 hii naifuta na acha paragraph okay now so nataka tutoe description nini maana ya admin anapokuwa amelogin nini maana ya hii neno approved nini maana pending ili aweze kuelewa so hapa uh, naandika of course H1 ni yake hapa pa H au oh sorry so niandike tu hapa approved so now approved approved ni maana gani approved ni maana kwamba uh, application application user alofanya is imekuwa processed and accepted ndio maana ya approved imekuwa imekuwa so nikija katika kuzi ni copy pi yote hapa nije ni duplicate hapa okay so now na duplicate hapa so rejected maana yake nini rejected maana yake ni kwamba uh, nikiandika hapa application imekuwa processed na imekuwa rejected rejected yes so nije kui copy hapa uh, pending na maana gani so pending maana yake ni kwamba application ime haijakuwa processed uh, pending pending maana nini application is not processed is not hai yani haja 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 hajapokelewa hajafanywa kazi ni kitu kama hicho <coughs> so nabo nime save changes so nikija ni refresh sasa hivi utaona kitachotokea umeona inaonekana hivi so hii ni status approved maana yake ni application yenyewe inakuwa processed rejected inaonyesha trend ya hivyo okay So now application yetu imekamilika kwa style hii. So nikija kwenye account huku of course tuisha tuisha fanya of course jana hiyo. So hapa unaona current need ni 1000 ni sana na hiyo. So applicant wao apply ni wangapi? 14. So nikija hapa ninaweza nikasajili applicant. Nikiadi applicant hapa ataongezeka hapa atakuwa wangapi? 15 na percentage itaongezeka. Inaweza kawa ni 1.4 na hapa itakuwa nafasi zilizobakia zitapungua zitakuwa 180 na ngapi? 185. So kuna data zimeingia katika database kama unavyoona hivi. So registration imekuwa successful. Nikija katika admin panel, so niki refresh admin panel. So kuna data alifa ambayo imekuwa added. So huyu hapa na status ni pending. So ngoja kumclick. So naweza kama approve. Nitakuja hapa, nitafik ni pending nitatoa, nitaka approved. Kisha nakuja hapa nitakuja za save changes. Okay? So nikaje katika application hapa nitarudi back katika application for example hapa so nitaandika address ya site yangu hii hapo kisha nitabonyeza application status hii hapo sio hiyo kama user ambaye ni uh, Halifa of course na click next ambaye ni huyu ameshakuwa ameshakuwa approved okay hapa katika hii link ambayo hii ilikuwa ni true true false true true true. So hizi tutaziondoa. Tutaziondoa kwa ku, kwenye hii admin panel, kwenye sehemu ya status of course hizi hazitakiwi. So ni click next tuna bado zinaendelea huku true na nini. So load back. Ngoja katika admin then na access ile method. Ile method ambayo ina set icons kwenye boolean equal to true. Hapa of course kuna dot. So baada ya kadoti then na save changes na ile refresh page. Okay now so nakuta sasa hivi inaonekana hivi. Ikiwa maana kwamba uh, user kisha kwa approved utaona hapa ime itaweka nini? Itaweka tick. Maana tick ikiwa rejected inaweka x. Tick of course ingeja kwenye back. Akiwa pending inaweka hii question mark. Hapa maana ni pending. 
nikaenda next wa wow, wote ni pending songe hapa approved imeka tick pending imeka question mark songe hapa rejected imeka x